when I started getting along, y'all said, just say, help them. <laughs> I want to give honor to my pastor and my first lady for seeing me, seeing the God in me. Thank you, God, for allowing me to present his word and them believing that God sent me to present his word. I want to give a shout out. To my past and my yeah. first lady. Thou servant, 
I'm on assignment. And I give myself away to you, Lord God, so that you can use me on this day. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. If you would just go with me to Haggai 1, I will not keep you long. Unless it's very safe. As you go on, I'm going to read a chapter, but it's short. And then I'm going to pull from two, so just stay with me, and this will bless you. It says, in the second year of King Darius, in the sixth month, on the first day of the month, the word of the of the word of the first day of the month, the word of the Lord came by Haggai, the prophet, to Zerubbabel, and the son of Shithiel, governor of Judah, and to Joshua, the son of Jehoshaphat, the high priest. Thus speaks the Lord of hosts, saying, This people, the time is not come, the time that the Lord's house should be built. Then the word of the Lord came by Haggai, the prophet, saying, It is time for you yourselves to dwell in your penal house, and this temple to lie in ruins. Now therefore, thus says the Lord of hosts, consider your ways. You have sown much and bring in little. You eat, but you not have enough. You drink, but you are not filled with drink. You clothe yourself when no one is warm. And he who earns wages earns wages to put in a bag with hopes. Thus says the Lord of hosts, consider your ways. Go up into the mountains and bring wood and build a temple that I may take pleasure in it. And be glorified, says the Lord. You look for much, but it it came little. And when you were brought home, I blew it away. Why, says the Lord of hosts, because of my house that is in ruins. While every one of you runs into his whole house, therefore the heavens above you withhold the dew, and the earth withholds its fruit. For I call for the drought on the land and the mountains and on the grain and the new wine and the oil. On whatever the ground brings forth, and on the men and the livestock, and on the labor of your hands, you can be seated. Then the of the son of Shithiel, and Joshua the son of Jehoshaphat, the high priest, with all the men of the people, obeyed the voice of the Lord, their God. And the words of Haggai the prophet, as the Lord called, had sent. And the people feared the presence of the Lord. Then Haggai, the Lord's messenger, spoke the Lord's message to the people, saying, I am with you, says the Lord. So the Lord stirred up the spirit of Zerubbabel, the son of Shephiel, governor of Judah, and the spirit of Joshua, the son of Jehoshaphat, the high priest, and the spirit of the Levitical people. And they came and worked on the house of the Lord of the host, their God, on the 24th day of the sixth month and the second year of King Darius. Praise be to God. Amen. If I was to use a title for this, I would say, Are you with me? When I began to read this word, God began to show me many things. And as I began to study the more, began to show me a whole lot of things. Mm -hmm. And here we have in this event in the Bible, we have a people coming out of captivity for 70 years. They were in captivity because of their disobedience and their murmuring and complaining. Mm -hmm. They would ask God for a judge. Yeah. He gave them a judge. Mm -hmm. They would ask God for a king. The king. But they were still murmur and complain. Yes. Well. So they went into captivity. But praise be to God that he loves oh, in yes. spite of yes. Yes. And he moved on the king to release the people. Oh, yes. And as they went back to Jerusalem, Judah, <coughs> they went about their business for 16 years. Mm -hmm. 16 years. Then all of a sudden, a prophet comes to them by the name of Haggai. And he has a word from the Lord. And I began to think, I said, Lord, you have a high priest. You have a governor. You have a remnant of people. And let me tell you what the remnant of people are. That word, that word stayed with me for three months. And I began to look up. It is just a small group of people. And in, in 
contained into the Bible, it is a small group of people. Reminded of what is mine. They walk around and they ask, why is this happening? Why is that happening? I just can't get it right. And God in this story tells them, because you have not been about my business. So therefore, even though you have a governor, and even though you have a high priest, and even though you are a people of God, you're not being kingdom minded in the business. So I had to send somebody to remind you that I am the Lord of hosts. Then I am the Lord God Almighty. Hallelujah. So I, I began to thank a little more. I said, okay, God, I thank you for that. Mm -hmm. And so then he began to show me that it was not only that they didn't hear, but they had some people from the outside coming in and making them stagnant. Don't you know that if you are stagnant in the natural, you're going to be stagnant in the spiritual? And that is when we have to come in, hush and yeah. Come on, Jesus, and help one another. So I want to stay right there for a minute. I want to talk about help. God has showed me that, hey, God, these two things, these people in this event, because I don't want to say these characters, because they're not fictional. They're real. It took place in the body. So therefore, these people in this event, Represented things. Had God in the natural was the prophet, in the spirit he was the word of God. Zerubbabel was a governor, but in the spirit he was a nation. Joshua was a high priest, and he was the natural church. Oh my God. But what really shocked me, he said, the primitive people. Yes, we are the people, but we are the spiritual church. So why are we showing out and not being kingdom minded and kingdom living? Do you have any idea? Because we are allowing God's house to go in ruins. You heard him tell him. See, he didn't, he didn't when he when when uh, Haggai came with the word. He didn't come no other way. He didn't come trying to tell them, I said do it. He didn't come saying, they said do it. He says, the says the Lord. And it amazed me that how in this word that God in the beginning, he didn't say my people. He said this people. As though as he step, stepped back from us for a minute. He said this people. You know all the Old Testament. He said, my people. Even when we showed out, my people, my people. Yeah. Don't you know that God loves us in spite of? Yeah. Yeah. Before just a moment, he had to step back and said, this people. Because the reason why I'm saying that you are this people because you allow my house to go in ruins. Yeah. Then you have the nerve to ask me. You have the nerve to say, why do I have a coat on and I'm still cold?
what? They had an obedient ear. And they began to get busy. And as they began to get busy, God not only reminded of him, them that I did these things to you because you didn't take care of my business, but I also, because you're going to get busy, I'm going to bless you. Yes, I'm going to shake the nation for you. Yes. So people of God, this is where I want to say to you, and the Spirit allows me to say it, that we got to be able to help to one another. Amen. Yes. Yes. The Word of God had God. You got Zerubbabel, the, the, the governor, the nation. You got Joshua, the high priest, yes. the church. And then you have us, the ones that hold on to the promise of God. Yes. And we got to be a help to one another. God and house cannot lay on ruins, and then we stay with your people of God because we are alive. Yes. And we cannot yes. stand for God's life. And the reason why that, that takes place is because we get so caught up with what's going on the outside yes. instead of worrying about what's taking place in the inside. Yes. I wish I could come to you and tell you about the, the see, I, I, I have to do two chapters to get the whole thing and because this is so full of just two chapters, I'm going to limit some things. But I'm going to tell you that God began to make promises to them. He went on to say, stay strong, yes. O Zerubbabel. Yes. Governor, stay strong, O high priest Joshua. And, and why do you think that he go to the two, the preacher and the governor? Because you know you got town people to show out. And you got people in the church to show out. And when it is that these people, they're over us and they're trying to watch over us and they're trying to pray over us. We complain about how much money they give and I don't want to give this and I don't want to do that. See, that goes on to the chapter 2 that I didn't get to Come in the, house, in the house of God with stuff that is defiled. Yeah, 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 yeah. Coming into the house of God with so yeah. so yeah. See, you can't do that and think something's going to grow. If you look around and you see stuff that's standing, then it's because these things are coming into the house. Yeah, yeah. See, the man of God tell you to hold my coat. You said ain't my coat. You still, that's why you still cold. Show 
always moving into the spirit. Yeah. Yeah. Kingdom minded and kingdom busy. Yes, yes, yes. I'm reminding you of what is required of the Lord. Mm. When God showed me this word, and I'm trying to stay within the text, he said that the people back then were held in captivity because they were murmuring and they were complaining. Lord, help me with this one right here. <laughs> Not only, but today, the people, this people, are held in captivity because of tradition. Yeah. Yeah. And I said, Lord, help me with them. Yeah. Yeah. I need some band-aids, some needles, and something else. <laughs> so God began to tell me that he said that we're so worried about Blood is thicker than water than the blood that we are covered by.